Yesterday I was walking through the suburb of Houghton and I came across a home that was under the wrecking ball that had been cannibalized for all of its window frames and roof tiles. And there was the machinery breaking down this magnificent, charming, beautiful home. Then I looked up at the board and I saw that it was now the new site of a brand new boutique hotel that was going to be built there. We find ourselves in the saddest period of the Jewish year. The days leading up to Tisha Abba'av, which is when we fast, this coming Thursday, Wednesday night and Thursday, remembering the loss of the temple and its destruction. And the question that is asked is if God asks us to preserve shuls, to look after a house of worship, that the home of God is something that is so filled with sanctity and therefore it should be protected and we certainly should not break it down. Why did God do that? Why did God break down two temples, the holy first temple, the holy second temple, surely God would set us the right example about preserving sanctity rather than allowing destruction. One of the commentaries says so beautifully, there is only one circumstance in which you can tear down a shul, and that is if you're going to build a shul that is bigger and better and better serving the population and the community than the first. It is then that you're exchanging what was for what will be. And in that case, one is able to tear down because of the process of building something bigger and more important. And so it is with Hashem. He gave us the first temple. We didn't preserve it as we should have. The second temple, we lost its soul before its bricks and mortar were destroyed and stones. Hashem tore down the first two temples because it was part of the process of ultimately building the third temple, which is going to be eternal, which will never be destroyed. And that is the environment in which destruction took place. It is in this period of the nine days that the Shabbat is associated with the prophecy of Isaiah, Chazon Yeshayahu, the Shabbat of vision, because we remember the vision of Isaiah that foretold the destruction. But there's a challenge to all of us. In the darkest moments, in the most difficult hour, it is to realize that we can have vision. Not only the vision that Isaiah had for destruction, but the vision of all of our prophets that we're filled with hope and optimism. We need to go through these dark periods of our year with the continued sense of hope and belief that all of the difficulties will come to an end and that ultimately it will be replaced by a more perfect and a better situation than what we ever had before. May we emerge from these difficult, challenging times of lockdown and all of its impact on society. May we emerge stronger, more fulfilled, with better vision than we ever had before. And then we will see that all of the difficulty was in fact the precursor to a much, much more beautiful world than we ever knew before. Have a good Shabbos.